Hi, my name is Arnel Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up an email account with Microsoft Outlook 2016 for Mac. So when you start setting up an email account in Microsoft Outlook 2016, you first need to load up the application, Outlook 2016, on your Mac. And here you can see that I have it loaded and I'm running it. Now normally when you run the program for the very first time, you're going to get a wizard and the wizard will bring you to this window that you see right here. Welcome to Outlook. And when you click on that next arrow, basically it's going to go to another Welcome to Outlook screen. And it gives you kind of a small description and then it says Get Started at the bottom. So here you click on Get Started. And at this point in time, you will need to log in to your Office account. Now normally if you do not have an Office account, you would be led through by Microsoft into how to set one up. Also, if you are using Microsoft Office, you already have an account and all you need to do is sign into it. So here you would click on sign in and you would sign into your account. After you've signed into your account, Microsoft will ask you how you want your Office Outlook to look and it gives you two options for themes, colorful and classic. You click on continue after you select your theme option and it tells you you're all set and you can click on start using Outlook. At this point it's going to tell you you can select either add account or import. Import is used to basically in import data from an either an older Outlook account or something like from uh, a different version of Outlook. Uh, we're going to be focusing on creating an account through adding an account. So click on add account. Now when you click on Add Account, you'll see the Accounts screen, which is what you would see if you were to log in to Outlook and you're not using the wizard and you're adding an account for the first time or you're adding another account. So I'm going to go ahead and close down these previews and then we're going to go to this same exact screen in Outlook. Now in Outlook, the way you get to those same screens is you would click on the Outlook option in the top of the screen and then you would go to where it says preferences. And preferences you would click on accounts. Again I'm showing you this because if you have set up an email account before or if someone has done it for you or you've set up a different type of account you will not see the wizard when you go into Outlook. You'll see this screen at first. In the steps in the tutorial basically you'll be starting at step 7 which is exactly where we're showing here the add an account screen. So in this case here, we're going to start from this section here and we're going to click on other email because we're creating not an exchange or an outlook.com account. We're creating an other email account based on the email service that we're using within Motion. So we're going to go ahead and click on other email and then you're going to fill in your email information. So I'm going to use a test account that I have. and type in the password. And then the username is the exact same thing as the email address. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use the IMAP protocol. And notice that there's only two, IMAP or POP. And then the incoming mail server. So in this case, I'm going to be using the secure settings for the mail server. And this is how you do it. Once you have the incoming server name typed in, you would click on Use SSL to Connect. Now the incoming server name for a shared server will start with secure and then the number or name of, this, of the server dot in motionhosting.com. For a VPS or dedicated, it would be whatever type of dedicated you have or VPS that you have, VPS, and then the number of the VPS dot in motionhosting.com. That would be the secure settings for the incoming server. That same server name is used for the outgoing server. And again, you would click on Use SSL to connect. Notice that the ports automatically change when you checked on Use SSL to connect. The port for the IMAP secure is always 993. And then for the outgoing server, the secure port is 465. If you're using POP3, then this number would actually be 995. 
if you're using a different port entirely, then you would actually click on override port in order to change the port that you want to use. Once you have everything set, you would click on add account. When you filled out the form with all your email settings and you click on add account, then you may see an option for verify certificate appear. Now it may show up a few seconds after you've added the account or it may show up immediately. But when you do see the verify certificate option here, you'll see that it says a secure connection cannot be established with the server and then the server name you want to continue. Now, in order to verify the certificate, you first need to click on show certificate. And then you need to make sure that you click on always trust. Now, make sure that when, you, when you're doing this verify certificate process, that you're verifying that the server name that you've established is your server name. And that is the correct ID of the server. You can find your server settings within cPanel if you require assistance. You can also contact technical support for this information if you have difficulty in finding it. Now, once you've got this option for trusting the certificate set and it's set to always trust, you can click on continue. And then you'll see that the account will turn green, the little button next to the account will turn green, saying that it's trusted the certificate. The certificate in question is a self-signed certificate that's created on the server, but what you're basically doing is you're saying that, hey, I do verify that this certificate is valid because you're connecting to the server that you've identified with that certificate. If you were to use a, an SSL that you purchased, then you would actually have to have that installed and then set up to use with your email account. And that basically completes the addition of an email account to your Outlook 2016 client for Mac. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave us a comment so we know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.